This conference will now be recorded. So, um, so the topic that we are going to cover is bill of material. Yeah. We will see what is bill of material, functions of bill of materials, types of bill of materials in plan maintenance module. Then we will see how to create a bill of material, equipment bill of material, in creation of material bomb, assembly bomb, in creation of functional location bomb. And also we will understand where these bombs are ultimately used. So these are the topics we will be covering in the bill of material. So basically the equipment bomb or functional location bomb is used to describe the structure of a piece of equipment or functional location and assign spare parts to it for maintenance. So basically the bill of material will give you the structure of a object. Let's say if you have a equipment, equipment bomb gives you the structure of that particular equipment, like what are the spare parts present and what are the what is the quantity of those spare parts. So that information you will get it in the bill of material. Let's say one equipment is having ball bearings okay gaskets okay uh, pumps radiators all these things are maintained in the bill of material so you will get the structure of the equipment okay an equipment bill of material lists all the components of an asset that means all the spare parts all the components including its assemblies and sub assemblies okay so basically uh, why we need to create the bill of materials Basically, the bill of materials are created. One is for structuring the object. Okay, so you will get the structure of the object. An object should be structured as clearly as possible from maintenance view. Okay, so basically, if you have bomb, you will get the structure of the bomb equipment object. What are the spare parts present and those those uh, their quantities and everything you will get. Next one, spare part planning in the order. Okay, if a bill of material is available for a maintenance object, this can be easily used to plan spare parts when planning a maintenance orders. This I will show it in the system. So once you have the bomb during the order order processing, you can use those bombs for spare part planning. It will become very easy for the users. So this I will show you after creating the bill of material. Okay, so basically the bill of materials are created for three reasons. One is structuring of the object. Okay, you will get the structure of the object and spare parts planning in the order. Okay, during the work order processing to plan the spare parts. Another one is spare parts planning in the task list. This we will see when we go to preventive maintenance. Okay, in the preventive maintenance, we will create task list. That time I will show you. Uh, how these bombs are used in the task list. So these are the three reasons for which they will create the bill of materials for normally the equipment. Okay. So now we the bomb categories which are used in plan maintenance modular three categories. One is equipment bomb. You create a bomb for a particular equipment and they use functional location bomb sometimes. Functional location bomb is nothing but bomb created for a particular functional location and also sometimes they use material bomb. And this is called assembly bomb also. Assembly bomb also. Okay, so basically we have three types of bombs equipment bomb, functional location bomb, and material bomb. These are the three types of bombs are used in PM module. Okay. So basically here. We have equipment bomb. One is equipment bomb. Okay, next one is functional location bomb.
functional location bomb and after that you have material bomb material bomb this is also called as assembly bomb assembly bomb bill of material okay so we will first start with the equipment bomb okay so let's go to the system okay so already we created a structure okay so the structure first we will take the structure this is the functional location we created okay so let us take the equipment go to click on expand hole here you have the equipment we created 500 kva diesel generator this is what we created now we will create bill of material for this equipment bomb equipment bomb okay so before that i created already all the spare parts in the system let us first let's check the spare parts i'll go to the sorry i'll go to the list of the spare parts i created so these are the spare parts i already created to enter into the bomb like you see ball bearing flat gasket sensor radiator all these things i already created okay so these are the prerequisites these all the spare parts has to be created as materials okay and this materials materials creation is a responsibility of mm team mm team will create these materials okay so now let's create the bill of material i'll open one more session okay i'll show you the navigation path go to logistics go to plan maintenance management of technical objects okay go to bill of material open this here you have equipment bomb see here you have three three types of bombs functional location bomb equipment bomb material bomb but but first we'll start with the equipment bomb. so open this ib01 is create ib02 change ib03 is display okay so the t codes are ib01 is a creation ib02 is change ib03 is display okay so now double click ib01 create equipment bomb initial screen so here you have to enter your equipment so the equipment is this one 500 kv diesel generator take that enter the equipment number here we are creating in this plant and bomb usage where it is used if you click on the list you have some list but in the plant maintenance module the usage you use for plant maintenance so by default just select four okay now enter so you will be getting this screen so here you have to enter all the spare parts present inside this equipment okay so what i did is based on my experience i prepared a list this i will enter as the list okay so we have ball bearing gasket gasket sensor all those things i have okay so let me take up to this one okay this this is a material code okay take this okay enter here you can enter one by one also but just to save the time i'm just copying from an excel file okay entered and i will enter their quantities their quantities okay okay is p017 that's okay so now let let me enter first okay so that means this is a spare part present and this is a quantity enter okay first let me enter one more thing let me enter some sp024 okay so this is the information so the moment i enter system will read the material master of this component and it will give the description and unit of measure okay anyhow i'll delete this okay so you have this many this also i'll change it to one okay so that means inside this equipment 500 kv diesel generator these are the spare parts present and this is the quant their quantity their quantity 
okay so in the real time this information will be provided by the client business team will provide and you need to guide them like how to create this bill of material okay so here you need to go to uh, header here you see there is a button here header if you go there this is the base quantity this is very important so in the equipment for one one 500 kva diesel generator one is having these spare parts with these are the quantities so these spare parts here you just call it as a component okay now once all the data is entered you need to save it so now the bomb is created okay and this bomb components you can see it in your functional location structure so if you go to function location structure just go back okay here you see there is a checkbox bomb explosion you need to select that also just select that again click on the button execute you got the structure so now click on expand hole see now you got the now you got the bomb of the equipment here you can see it here so this is a material material code description item category and quantity and unit of measure so it, you can see this in the functional location structure also okay suppose let's say if you go to bomb change mode uh, let's say here you have the radiator and you have the pump let's say this radiator again is having some spare parts inside it. and let's say this pump is also having some spare parts inside it. okay then you can mark these ones as assembly pm assembly okay so select the component here you see there is a button item click on that button item so you will go to the item details particular component details here you need to go to status long text and once you go, go to that tab scroll down a bit here you see there is a checkbox pm assembly activate it again go back let's say this pump is also having some some spare parts inside it select the pump item go to details scroll down here you see there is a checkbox pm assembly you need to activate that means that spare part again is having some components inside it so we are we are we are marking them as pm assembly so now go back now see so the moment you mark them as if you go to your structure if you go to your structure if you refresh observe carefully the the color for the radiator and pump will change suppose i'm refreshing the screen see the color of radiator and pump change it to light yellow color that means they are marked as assembly so by looking at the color you have to tell whether it is a normal component or whether it is again having some spare parts inside it it's a nothing but pm assembly so as this pump is marked as assembly okay so you can create a bomb for this pump so now this pump is a material here so you can create a material bomb. material bomb, nothing but assembly the t codes are cs01 change cs02 and display cs03 once we create the material bomb we will go to the functional location bomb also okay so now take the pump this is a material take the pump now you have to create the material bomb go back here close this here you see material bomb open this cs0 it is nothing but assembly bomb so enter the material code of the pump this is a metal code of the pump plant 1710 bomb usage is 4 enter so here you need to enter the spare parts present inside that pump suppose let's say this pump this pump is having a casing okay so let's say it is having a casing sp017 okay sp017 quantity let's say 2 enter quantity enter again let's say it is having hello shaft sp20 sp020 okay let us let's say it is a quantity is to enter okay now again ball bearing it is having a ball bearing let's say okay then enter sp008 sp008 let's say two okay and it's having a cover plate okay cover plate sp090 these are already created as materials in the system so like this you can enter the component and their quantity 
That means all these spare parts are present inside this pump. Of course, here it is a material. Now see. Now again, this also you can see it in the functional location structure. Functional location structure. So go to the functional location structure, refresh the screen. See. Now for the pump, you got a chip box here, an indicator here. If you open that, now you can see it. So pump is also having the bill of material. Okay. Like this, you can create a bomb for a material also, which is called assembly bomb. Okay.